I collected the 37 absolute best Nintendo automations for marketing and today I'm giving them away to you for free without any paid communities. With this resource you can solve literally any marketing problem that you have. Social media content creation, SEO and blogs, email marketing, cold outreach or even ads creation. These templates are from top professional Nintendo builders like Nate Herc, Nick Saraev, myself and others. I manually handpicked and reviewed every single automation, then organized them in a database with tags, categories and direct links. So you can use them to sell automations from one to take a project or automate your own business operations. It is super easy to use. Let's say you want an SEO blog automation for your website. You will find it using names and tags. Here are some tags SEO, SEO. Let's say you want this automation, AI SEO writer. You're just copying this link going to N10 and pasting it. Press yes import and you don't even need to download anything on your computer. And boom, the whole automation is right here in your workspace. Let me show you what's inside and how to access it. And if you find this valuable, subscribe to my channel. First of all, let's understand in detail what do we have in this database. Every single row represents another automation. And we have different columns. The first one is name. It's a short description of the workflow at hand. LinkedIn brand engine, product ad generator, personalized email machine. So you kind of get the idea of what this thing is about. But if you are unsure, you can read the second column, which is called pain solved or outcome. It is a more descriptive text about the workflow. Builds personal brand automatically with research ideas, copy and images. So if you are looking to automate your personal brand, probably this workflow will be super helpful for you. Then we have tags. Tags are describing what is specific part of marketing, this workflow is automating. It might be something about social media, it might be something about a specific social media platform, it might be about ads, email marketing, SEO, and many other things. You can easily search through that. And if you want to filter out only specific automations relevant to a specific tag, you can do that easily. If you press on the right side, this one, filter, then here in tags, you just select, let's say, cold outreach, bam. We have only five workflows related to the cold outreach in here. This one is LinkedIn DM automation system, lead generation system for the cold outreach afterwards, or LinkedIn cold email machine. So you kind of get the idea. And now we can easily remove this filter and get back to the normal view. The next column is creator. So as I said, all of these automations are taken from professional Anytime builders. In this case, we have 10 of them. Most of them were posted in YouTube. And for that reason, like as you can see, many of these names are famous YouTubers in this space. And on the right side, we have the column called source. And this is the link to their YouTube video. So if you don't understand some of the details, you can always go here, watch it fully, and it will be much easier for you to actually deploy the workflow, right? The next column is APIs. This is the tech stack that this automation is using. In my opinion, this is super important. When I was building out this database, I realized that this column is actually necessary because some people, they prefer different APIs. They are familiar with different APIs. And if you see that the workflow is using something that you are super familiar with, then probably it will be super easy for you to deploy it, to use it, and you won't need to spend too much time understanding it. On the other hand, if you see that, I don't know, it has like four new APIs, probably it will take longer, but maybe it's worth it. If it's the area of automation that you actually wanted to discuss, to develop and to understand better, right? So the next part is complexity. I know that this video is being watched by people from absolutely different technical levels and I understand that. And for that reason, I wanted to make the life for you easier. So if you are a beginner, then probably look at the lowest complexity. These workflows will be the smallest in size. Let's open this one. Copy this link, go to NA10, paste it in here, and you will see that the workflow is relatively small. In this case, let's see, here it is. It is roughly like 10 different nodes. Not that much. There are workflows much more complicated than this. Probably you can understand how it works in 30 minutes, maybe one hour if you're an absolute beginner, but this is absolutely doable for you, right? On the other hand, if we will take something way more complicated, like this one, Facebook ads generator, the complexity here is high. So let's just look at what do we have inside and you'll just understand the level of difference that we have here. 
So look, look at it. It's absolutely huge. It is like, I don't know, maybe 10 times bigger in size. And obviously, if you are a complete beginner, then probably it's not something for you. Start with something simpler and then you will gradually increase your level of skill and then something like that will be also super simple and clear for you. So I just wanted to make this more convenient for everybody to use. And then the final field is template link. Obviously, it's just a JSON file with a template. I'm hosting them on my own Google Drive. And this link is very specific because you can actually copy it and paste it immediately in here. So it is structured in a way that is compatible with any 10 and this is super convenient. I, I was freaking out the first time I saw that, that you can actually comment V and it will import it right away. This is super sick in my opinion and uh, it actually saves so much time, right? So let's get back. And the final column that I have not explained is extra materials. So many workflows, they have some supplementary materials like a Google Sheet template. For instance, in this case, it's a LinkedIn brand engine. The system, the workflow will be generating new posts for your personal brand and they will be stored in the Google Sheet. I will just open it up so we understand how it looks like. So every single row here will represent a new post and you can review them, you can tweak them if you want. It also has some images and then you will select the status of the post. You can set, let's say, review already or posted. So it is just a very convenient way to manage the operations with a particular automation. So in many cases, you will have these things on the right side. And now I want to focus your attention on a specific trend that is emerging right now. I call it template driven development. When you want to build an automation, you are never starting from scratch. You want to find as relevant templates as possible and use it as the foundation for your build. It will save you so much more time. Let me explain. Let's say I want to build an automation that creates content for me on Twitter and automatically publishes it on Twitter regularly. And let's say it also does it on LinkedIn, on Instagram, every single social media, and it has the text, the images. So pretty generic personal blog, right? What would I do in this case? I will select this workflow, which is LinkedIn brand engine. Let's just copy it. I will immediately use it in my workspace because I understand that it is something relevant. Maybe it's not solving the full problem because I want to post also on Twitter, but this thing, it has the main part, like generating a post and all of the materials, generating an image and saving it to the Google Sheet database. Yes, this workflow publishing only to LinkedIn and I want Twitter. Let's find this out in the database. This one, multi-platform publisher. This thing is a simple workflow that publishes your content across nine social platforms automatically and saving hours daily. This one probably will be relevant to us. Let's copy that. Let's go back to N10, paste it here, import, and you will see that, bam, this workflow is also super simple. Here, we're uploading the third-party service called Blatata, and then we can publish to any social media. And Twitter is also included here. So if you want to do only Twitter personal blog, just remove this node, replace it with this segment, and you will have your automation, your workflow. This is the essence of the template-driven development. This is super convenient. And if you are building stuff for your business or for clients, I am sure you will benefit from using it. And now I want to show you a little sneak peek of what is actually inside for different categories. So you have a little bit better understanding. So let's start with social media. I already shown you LinkedIn brand engine. Let's look at another one, product ad generator. This is also very, important and useful automation for many cases for many of you. Let's see what we have inside. So this one is from Nate York and this one will actually generate videos with your product. You're just providing an image of your product. Let's say it's a cologne or new phone and then you will have multiple videos showing this product from very professional angles like it will be looking like it was shot by a professional videographer. So something very convenient and interesting, right? Let's go back. Another one, let's say SEO block automation system. This is another one. Let's copy it. I am not into SEO, but probably some of you, you want to automate that stuff and actually rank high on in Google. So let's see this one. This one is a huge one. It has kind of two sub workflows. The first one is cluster SEO post and another one is trend SEO post. So as I understand properly, the first one is analyzing what is your niche 
and is trying to understand what are the main keywords that are actually interesting to rank for. Maybe they have big amount of volume in terms of searches, but low competition, and then you want to rank for them. And another one is SEO post. So it will actually analyze what is trending right now in your niche and will create a blog post specifically on that topic. So obviously with this system, it will be much better if you're just using that compared to you have absolutely zero effort in terms of the SEO, right? Let's go back. Let, let's see a couple other examples. For instance, this one, autographic design system. Let's copy this one. It's from Nick's Arrive. I love this guy. Super grateful for the content that he posts. So here we have it. This system automates every single part of work related to the graphic design. So you have a one AI agent that is managing the whole system and then you have sub workflows, generate logo, generate style guide, generate gradient background, edit revised image. So you can do pretty much all the manual work that usually the graphic design agency would do just with this simple workflow, like you will need to separate those parts because these are sub workflows, sub agents, but this is super easy. It will take you five minutes and then the whole system will be set up for you. Or let's look at another example, 4K video creator from Robo Nuggets. This one has medium complexity, should be medium in size. Let's see what do we have inside. Maybe we want actually 4K for our ads. We want to have the highest quality possible and then we'll go for it with this one. So you can see it's not that big, not that small. So it has supported maximum output length 30 seconds for 4K only. So it uses some sort of third party API called Topaz. And by the way, if you can see all these workflows, they are decently documented. So here you have the description. In this case, you don't have the description, but the workflow itself is relatively straightforward. So it's not very hard to understand what is going on inside. In this case, it is very well documented. So I actually reviewed manually and selected only those workflows that are actually easy to use, that are clear, that are solving the specific problem that is actually popular between the viewers of this content. And now I want to show you two automations that I've used myself and I've got very good results with them in terms of views, followers, getting more attention and more leads to my business. So I want to prove to you that these animations, they actually work. So the first one is related to YouTube. Obviously I'm doing YouTube. So let's go to tags and here let's select only those that are relevant to YouTube. So we press here in tags, we add YouTube, select it and bam, we have seven automations here. And the first one is what I'm talking about. YouTube viral searcher, analyzing what makes niche leader viral, organizing winning formulas into templates. So this system is made by me. I hadn't yet made a video about it on YouTube because the system is super simple. It's super short, but the value is there. Trust me. So let's get back to any time, paste it. I will explain to you how it works. So this automation is pretty much simple and straightforward. As you can see, only like 10 nodes. So we're giving it a request. Let's test it out. I'll show you how it works. So here you have to describe your keyword or topic. Let's say you're in real estate. You will just write real estate. Then you'll need to select the time window. Let's say one year, a number of videos that the system will analyze. Let's say 15 and let's press submit. Now, what is happening inside? This system will scrape these 50 videos from YouTube related to your topic. Then it will filter out only the viral videos viral meaning that they have so much more views related to the amount of subscribers on the channel so if you have a video with 100k views on a channel with 1k followers it means that this video is super viral on the other hand if the video has 100k views on the channel with 1 million subscribers probably this video is below average and there is not much ideas or inspiration we can take from it right and so finally, when the analysis is done, it will save all the results to the Google Sheet database, which looks like this. So I already did the request for real estate. And as you can see on the left side, we have the score. It means how viral is this video. So for instance, the first video, it's called how I analyze a flip, full dollars walkthrough. We have the thumbnail, my flip formula, the guy standing there, everything very clear and straightforward. And you can see that the video has gotten to 150K views 
on a channel with 17k subscribers, meaning it is super viral. And you can say from the concept that it is providing value immediately. It's very clear what the value will be inside. Probably a lot of people are buying this packaging and actually watching this video. So if you're doing YouTube and you're in the real estate niche, you can grab so much inspiration from these viral videos. Or let's say, I don't know, this one, this video. It has score seven. Seven meaning this video is still super viral, super interesting to analyze. Everything above five is very good. This is what always happens before a real estate crash. 2008 all over. So you can understand that this concept is sparking so much anxiety, people will be angry, people will be cautious, and it is almost impossible not to click on this video because this information might be life-changing. Imagine you will be able to save your ass from a huge crisis just by watching this video. For that reason, it is a very clickbaity video with a nice packaging, and you can see that it has gotten to 330k views on the channel with relatively the same amount of subscribers, which is also very, very good. So by analyzing that, you can go viral on your platform as well. And this is exactly what I did. Let me just prove it to you. I found this guy, this video using the same system. You can see this channel is in Spanish and this system is about 3000 templates for anything. At the time where I spotted this video, it, it got only 10k views and on the channel it was like 1k subscribers. So it was a pretty solid outlier. And then I just realized that no one did the same video in English and I just used the same concept and just package it on my channel and let me show you what results did I get. So as you can see the same video, 3000 free templates. I has, I, I've got 33k views and this video alone brought to me 1.5 thousand subscribers. On my channel, this is a quite a big number. Right now I'm only at 11k. So it's like 15% by one video, by only one simple move and automation. It makes so much sense to do that more, more frequently. And you can abuse this thing to grow on social media, to hack this growth and actually achieve all your marketing success. Now another super cool automation that I used personally, let's search LinkedIn in here. And this is the first automation, LinkedIn Brand Engine. This is exactly what I used myself. Let's copy it once again, let's paste it so we just understand how it works in general. As you can see, we have three parts. First of all, generating a new post idea and all materials, meaning the text, also the image prompt. Then here we're generating the image because we want our posts to be more engaging, not just text, right? And then everything is being saved to the Google Sheet database then everything is being automatically published to LinkedIn after my own approval. So when I go here, here are the posts that were published and then I'm selecting if the status is like, if I like the post, I'll just press ready and then the system it will automatically publish it whenever it does the publishing every single day, right? So all of these posts are already published to my page and let's just check out one of them. This one was posted and created entirely by this same automation. And let me just make it bigger. As you can see, this one is about JetBrains just made AI coding free for everyone. This post is specifically designed for the audience of software engineers because on my LinkedIn, because on my LinkedIn, this is the majority of people who follow me. And you can see that it has gotten to 29 likes, more than 3000 impressions. So people generally liked it. And of course, this is not huge numbers but this was done completely automatically. This is the beauty and simplicity of these systems, how efficiently you can use them and actually grow your following. So that was it. And to access this database, use the link in the description down below. I will publish it to my free school community. I've never had one before. Right now I understood that it's the right time to create it because I really want to interact with you to understand your pain points better, to communicate with you. And then I will be able to solve this different problems and interesting questions in my videos and provide more value eventually to everyone. This community is free, don't worry, no paywalls. Go there, access it. If you like this video, check out another one where I built a similar database based on all of the popular videos on YouTube about NIT and templates. And in this system, you have 300 different templates. So it is also super valuable.